Dad's up in the field today on one of his Al Shammers ready to bale some hay. You can tell that the windrow is kind of wide, so on the first pass, the goal is to compress the hay into a thinner and taller row. This helps to make sure that the process is much more efficient. On the next pass, the goal is to actually spit out some bales, so you'll re-thread the twine needle and get back to it. This is a machine that you definitely wouldn't want to get sucked into, but I have heard of it happening to small calves once in a while. Hmm? We ended up with around 400 bales on the corner here, so if you're in northern Colorado and need some grass hay that didn't get rained on, let us know.